I have a life lesson. I need one. Well, I got one for you. Sometimes you just have to let it go. And what I'm talking about here is uh, involving a, a woman in Brennan, Washington. Firefighters from there had to go to the rescue, come to the rescue of a woman who had fallen and gotten stuck in a, an outhouse toilet. Oh, my. After no. She was attempting to retrieve her cell phone. Oh, honey, no. Once no. it's gone, it's gone, man. That's where you get the insurance. Oh, my God. This all happened at the top of Mount Walker near the uh, North parking lot. Uh, rescuers said the woman in her 40s was, uh, was, 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 was using the can when she dropped the phone down the, down the, down the hole into the pit. Into the blue And water. it's just gone. It's gone. At it's that gone. That's, that's, that's all it's going to be. So she fell in. Well, there's more to this. Oh, God. The woman reportedly tried to dismantle the toilet by taking off the seat and housing to get her phone. And she used her dog's leashes to help support her while trying to fish the phone out. Oh, good God. The leashes failed and she slid into the toilet head, head first. first. Oh, God. But there is good news. Oh, I don't see how there could be. <laughs> she got her phone. Oh. And then used it to call 911 after about 20 minutes in an attempt to climb back out. Oh, God. Firefighters found her inside. Covered in blue and ass poo. Assessed the situation and then made a tall makeshift <laughs> cribbing platform. <laughs> Which was passed down, helping her to stand on above the feces. Uh, she got up tall enough there where they were able to pull her to safety. I've fallen in a toilet and I can't get up. <laughs> the woman told the police, the rescuers and stuff, that she was not in injured and did not want to be taken to a hospital. Uh, you're covered in blue and poo. The firefighter <laughs> said that she was washed down and given a Tyvek <laughs> suit to wear. <laughs> and then was strongly encouraged to pursue medical attention, attention after being exposed to the human waste. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. However, she did not. They said she just wanted to leave. And go home back to California. Uh, Smelling like poo. Rescuers said the woman was extremely fortunate not to be overcome by toxic gases or sustain any injury. She could have fallen, knocked herself unconscious, and, and drowned drown in poo. Drowned in a river of shit. <laughs> that poor lady. No, I have no but sympathy. But you know, this is, this is... Uh, I mean, kudos to the phone for surviving it enough for her well, to call yeah, 911. I wonder what brand it was. Right, right. That's a testament to the phone. It, it, it ought to be. Maybe they should figure out what it is and use it in their marketing campaign. This phone doesn't put up with any shit. No, it does not. <laughs> it takes no shit. <laughs> uh, 911, what's your emergency? I'm in a toilet <laughs> and I can't get out. How do you think that went? And there's something moving between my, my legs. legs. <laughs> yes, there's something swimming down here. Uh, it's Mr. Hanky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 uh, I can only imagine the call. And then I, I would love to have been a fly on the shoulder of one of those firemen. Well, they were there. Laughing. Oh, you and, know, they were trying to contain themselves. Oh, come on. And when they got in the truck to go back to the house, they were like, Dumb You are bitch. not going to believe. <laughs> and see, these are the things that this, this proves that evolution is a thing. Oh, yeah. She has not evolved enough. No, survival of the fittest That's is a right. thing. That's right. It is. It, it is. really is. It is an important lesson to learn. There was, I remember the story. Of the man who dropped his Rolex in an airplane lavatory. And, oh! And he reached in and got it out. Yeah. But his arm was blue. Blue up to, up up to I remember. Remember yes, that? Yes. And there were pictures being, and it's, that stuff stains everything. Oh, yeah. And there's the walk of shame from the from the bathroom of the airplane. With back, a blue hand. And everybody knows what you just did. And how did your watch get off into the toilet? I, I don't know. Don't know. I don't want to know. 
But there again, you know, you got a five thousand dollar watch down in there. You might you might want to yeah dig it out before they open the hatch and dump it all out over Kansas or wherever. Yeah, right, they dump right. It, you know. Oh God. Ugh. But a phone? No, it's gone, baby. I I don't think I've ever dropped. Oh, I do know somebody that dropped their phone in a toilet. Like in a home toilet or yeah, in, at uh, home. Okay. And they were at home. Well, that's a little less unsavory. The worst thing that ever happened to me was I had my phone in my breast pocket. I was painting. I huh. told you about this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I leaned over to dip the paintbrush in, and it slid out of my breast pocket uh-huh. into the pan of paint, and it oh. was in slow motion. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I stared at it, and I'm like, whoa, whoa. hey, that looks like my phone. And then it just blip, 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 sank yeah. in the paint. Oh, man. That was painful. Well, hats off to the manufacturers for designing a phone that is a little more life proof. Yeah. 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 Poo proof. Yeah. <laughs> we, it's, it's not stupid proof. No, though. no, 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 no. You can't. I've learned this the hard way. You cannot make anything idiot proof because no. all you do is make a, a, a worse smarter idiot. idiot. Uh, well, a dumber or a idiot. Dumber idiot. Yeah, yeah. You, you sit there and you think, okay, well, I can do this, this, and this, and this should prevent anybody from doing something really dumb. And then they find a way to get around that right. by some sort of happenstance in some fashion that you didn't even think think of. of. Right, right. Yeah. Well, that never ceases to surprise me when people do stupid stuff, and you hear about it, and yeah. I'm going. Why did they do that? I never would have thought to yeah. do that with that, you know. It's because just, somebody either has or they're think, they're trying to be forward thinking enough that they will. Right. Or when you hear rules that are made. Yes. And you're like, why are you telling me not to? Uh, Prime example. The Tony. Lick, I told you this yes, this morning. Yes, yeah, exactly. The Thank Tony you. Awards have now put out a policy now, a no violence policy. Right. And I understand why, but you don't need to because we're I don't just understand not why. To. Why do you even have to have this? Well, they don't. I understand why they said it, but having the policy is ridiculous. Shouldn't that be just, a, just an unwritten policy right. in general that you don't go don't. up to people on stage and slap them? Right, right. Is that what this is about? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it's about. But you know, that's what I'm saying. Decorum and, and uh, it should come into play here. Right. And people should have some some level of of decency. And yes. know that you don't behave this way in public. Well, but then they have to say uh, it. But then, yeah, you got to make a rule. It's, it's what was it? I think there was something recently. Another thing that was so, so stupid. It was like, don't. And I thought, well, why do they have to say that? Somebody's tried this. Or somebody has gotten away somebody's with it. Somebody's done this, yes. and they have to say, don't. Yes. I'm sorry if you're dumb enough to do this. Buck around and find out. Yeah. That's kind of what this is. Exactly. I would think, and I never, I don't see the signs at, say, super low. Mm -hmm. There's not a sign on the door that says you can't take a shit in the floor. Right, right. That's not written anywhere. No. And it, it also, there's no sign that says don't be violent. Yeah, there's no in sign the in there. It, it, don't it, be a dumbass just, isn't on the Right, you know, right. You know. Oh, but that doesn't. Uh, no. Well, you, you may not have anybody taking a shit or starting a fight, but you're going to have dumbasses. Well, of course you do. I mean, I, cause I've got I, that's how this why the show exists, because there's a lot of dumbasses out there. That's kind of how this how this works. There's always dumbassery. Well, of course there is. <laughs> And it's, you know, it's like going back into the whole warning label thing on products that you buy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Do not use toaster in the bathtub. Right. You know. Do not, not use hair dryer in bathtub. Um, um, the thing about the toaster oven, not meant for outdoor use. Right. Somebody did these things. I know that. They had to put the warning labels on a hammer. You know, there's a warning. Oh, label yes. On a hammer. I don't think I've ever read it. I know how to use a hammer, so I don't have to sure. read the instructions. Yeah, I, I I think I read one once, 
and I, st- I think it's still stuck to the ha- one of the hammers I have, and it's, I think it's something about wearing safety goggles and blunt force trauma. But that's what you're dealing so with here. Safety goggles when you're hitting somebody in the head? Um, yeah, probably. Is that what it's? Yeah, so blood spattered up and get back into your eyes. I guess. Blunt force trauma and goggles. Would... Well, it's just a list of things that can go wrong I while see. using a I hammer yeah, because yeah. there are there are people that are that stupid. I know. And I, I, I do we need to protect all the stupid people? There's a warning label on the inside of the windshield of my car. What do most cars date? Most really? Cars, yeah. They have what does that. it say? This car is equipped with an airbag for your safety, but it does not negate the use of a seatbelt. Huh. Well, I don't need no seatbelt. I got an airbag. I'll be all right. Yeah, airbag doesn't keep you from going through a window, though. Not really, no. No. And you don't want that airbag that close to you. <laughs> Trust me, you don't. No. No, I got hit by mine uh, when somebody somebody hit me in my, my old truck. Uh-huh. Somebody hit me on the freeway, uh-huh. and man, I couldn't hear for like fifteen minutes. Oh yeah, the ringing in your ears and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. it's an explosion. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, "Oh, I can't hear. What the fuck is wrong?" <laughs> yeah, and there's that weird. And smell. then I had the burns, burns on the arms from it ejecting. Yeah, they've and, they've they've changed a lot of that yeah. stuff now. Yeah, still, this is a, this is a 1995 pickup. I yeah. bought it back in 1995, brand new. I had to, uh, I had to, uh, not long ago, I had to have the airbag changed out of my car. It was, it, it was, uh, it was recalled. <gasps> Shit, I think mine was too. And I was like, was it Takashi? I think it was Takashi airbags out of out of Japan. They had issued a recall, and what the recall was the reason why they had they went they were desperate to get them changed out was that they had the tendency to either um, deploy at random. Yeah. <laughs> or, or they would come loose and come right at you. Yeah. While deploying. They'd I kill you. I, I think, uh, shit, I think I've got, I think I have to go get mine changed out now that I think about it. Yeah, and you got to go, you got to do it at the dealer, too. I know. Yeah, that's the sucky part. And do without it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it's the whole notion of you're driving around with a gun held to your yeah, head. Yeah, basically. Is- I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah that's I guess what I better that, do that. That's kind of what that is, yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> Shit, mine's been recalled for years. I haven't done anything about it. Um, yeah, so there are certain things in this world, ultimately, that you just got to let go. And, uh, you know, dropping your phone down a, a shitter is one of those things. Personally, you know, sometimes sometimes it works out for the best because you can get a better phone. Right, or right. You move along. Right, right. <laughs> like having a... Like an old CRT television. Somebody I did. Uh, there was a deep dive on something where this guy was set out to try and buy one. Really? You can't. Well, no. Nah, duh. You can't find a used one anywhere, though? Was he trying to buy a new one? I think he was. No. Nobody's making them anymore. I don't think anybody And pawn still shops has aren't old... taking them because there's... No, you know what? You're right. I don't think I've seen any CRT televisions... Uh-uh. It's all been flat screens in pawn shops. That's correct. I was in a pawn shop about two years ago. The wife and I, we were, we were, uh, we were somewhere, and we were looking for something. I said, "Well, let's try this. Try this pawn shop. Maybe, maybe we can find some." I hadn't been into it. I thought, "Well, this would be kind of cool because pawn shops can be kind of fun." Yeah, they are. I think. And uh, we go in there, and I'm talking to the guy there behind the counter, the guy that owned it, and his wife was working this other end, and Joe's over there looking at jewelry and stuff, and mm-hmm. she's seeing what's over there, and she wound up getting something. She got a good deal. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and I'm talking to the dude about something. I forget what it was I was even looking for. And uh, while I'm talking to him, I have my back to the door, and then the door opens up, and these two guys come in with a big screen, old tube projection looking yeah. thing. And he goes, he goes, excuse me. Hey, fellas, get that piece of shit out of here. <laughs> and they went, what are you talking about? This is a pawn shop. And he goes, I ain't buying that. I ain't Nobody's going to buy it. I'm not going to give you a nickel for that yeah, thing. Right. Get it out of here. <laughs> and don't leave it in my parking lot. <laughs> Nobody wants those things. Nobody wants it. Nobody has the space for them. They, they look like ass. They're not worth anything. No, nah, we, we had... My dad's old Curtis Mathis CRT. Oh, I remember those. Until it died. God, is Curtis Mathis even still a thing? It was. 
Well, that's all that was what they specialized in yeah, was those big yeah. cathode ray tube televisions. Yeah. And yeah, we, we, we had one of those when dad passed away and my mother passed away. I got that TV and it was this deep. Oh my it God. Was yeah. Huge. Oh yeah. It was, it, it, was, it, was, it, it was, was a, a piece of furniture. Case. Yeah. No, it was, it was, it was an apply. It was modern. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It was made in the nineties. Yeah. So it was plastic and rounded and you yeah. Know, yeah. But it was still a big ass TV. It was probably about that. Oh, sure. Big. And, oh, oh, I, I, God, I remember having the discussion with my parents about it because they were, they were going to be getting a new TV. The whole digital thing was happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they were ca- kind of forcing you onto the flat screen, which right. well, is not really much forcing. It's a superior product. It is, yeah. And I remember my mother said, Why can't people just leave well enough alone? That TV works fine. No, it doesn't. No, it really doesn't. Take a you look see, at the, the look at the look at the flat flat screen. Go to, and go to Best it. Buy right, and go look right. at it. Go stand yeah. there and go look at them on the wall and you tell me. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. And then people are so resistant to change anyway. Sure. You know. They don't want what something better. No. Said, well, it's cheaper. <laughs> They're giving them away yeah, practically. That's right. Yeah. Go find you a nice TV and you know there, there you go. Yeah, right now you can go get one for like a couple of hundred bucks. Oh, they are cheap now. Oh yeah. Well, and the reason why that is is that the current younger generation right now, the eighteen to thirty fours, they don't even watch TV, so they're not selling as many of them. Right. Right. Everything is now it's going to be on a tiny screen. Yeah, I, I like watching my streaming whatevers on a bigger screen. Oh, of course. Oh, I'm the same way. I want that experience. I don't. I don't want to watch it on my phone. No. Unless I'm sitting in a waiting room and I got headphones or something, you know. Right, right, right. Exactly. It's the same thing. So, you know. If I have to put on my glasses to watch. Yeah. Well, I always have to wear my fucking glasses. Well, there's, well, I I use bastards. Peepers. Anyway.